miles north of London. Investigators say it could take several days to determine the cause of the crash. Matthews was just 37 years old. Our other top story this morning, thankfully conditions on I-65 are slowly improving thanks to the slight warm up we're seeing and increased traffic flow. News 18's Kelly Roberts was on 65 all day yesterday and reports how the interstate is getting back to normal. This week it's been an icy road for I-65. On Sunday it was closed from State Road 26 to Merrillville because cars were getting stuck. It reopened Monday morning and hours later it closed again. It was reopened on Monday and then shut down with this extreme sub-zero temperatures. What they were finding were a lot of the semis with their fuel it was gelling up so then they're blocking the traffic and backing things up again. It reopened on Tuesday. Since then, in Dot and Indiana State Police are warning people the road is still hazardous and to drive slowly. ISP First Sergeant Brian Olahai says slick spots still litter the roadway from Merrillville to Boone County. He says the warm up is activating the chemicals and salt and melting the ice, but it can easily freeze right back over. Especially at dawn and dusk when the sun just starts to hit it and it just starts to melt that top layer. That's when it's its slickest. Um, just like when a rainstorm, uh, you know, it's always, the road is always slickest right at the beginning of a rainstorm just because it's bringing up all the dirts and oils. Little by little, the roads on the interstate get better for driving, but troopers say you may want to wait a few more days before reaching normal interstate speed. Travel is good on the road because it helps to break the ice up, especially the heavy truck traffic. But um, just because that road is open doesn't mean by no means that you can travel at the speed limit or probably anywhere near the speed limit. Olahai is optimistic the upcoming warmer weather will continue to help get the road back to normal. However, you may need to look out for something else. As the ice melts, new large potholes are being exposed. For the latest updates on road conditions, head to WLFI.com. In Tippecanoe County, Kelly Roberts, News 18.